Well, this is this size is this. And I know I haven't made a video in a while. Personal problems, lots of other stuff to do. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But anyways... On to some news and stuff that I heard about. Uh, Mac Pros, there's still a tube. There's not really much to talk about PCs and Macs these days. That, that argument has kind of died. But anyways, on to more fucked up news. Uh, first of all, uh, PlayStation 4 sales are climbing higher and higher, just as I noticed. And just as I said that they would, uh, for having Xbox being the winner, I, I still have a lot of to say on that. I mean, being the winner from like that on December, I still have a lot to say about that because none of you people deserve any of my respect. Or you so-called hardcore gamers who bought Xbox Ones, you don't. None of you. And the reason is is that it's coming more and more and more clear that the Xbox One is definitely less powerful. Even though that when I looked at the models and the specs, the Xbox One was way less powerful, and especially within the GPU. And they made this thing cost $100 more than the PS4. And yet people still defend the Xbox One. Now, like I said, the Microsoft fanboys and the Xbox fanboys I'll forgive them because they're just relatively stupid morons. And of course, you know, the whole resolution gate mess. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I said, Microsoft used the cheap GPU, and it, anyone who looked at the specs would realize that. And what did you guys get? And what made you pay an extra hundred bucks? Fucking. This thing isn't even worth the extra 200 in my honest case. I think the Xbox One, if it came out at the price of close to maybe 300 yeah, I think it would have been a more of a fair console. I mean, the Wii U is at 200 and for its specs, it matches. Even though everybody is all piping mad and saying the Wii U is uh, underpowered. Well, no, duh. Overpriced, you know. Like, unlike those 3.5 million morons who bought the Xbox One for 500, do for 500 fucking dollars. And what do they get? A console that can barely even do half the graphics that the PS4 can do. And even a PC can do. And of course you got Black Bond. Rare. You know, good old Black Bond never gives up on his videos. The Wii U is evil. Wii U is the reason why my sports team lost. The Wii U is sufficiently underpowered. Even though it's more appropriately uh, priced. Uh, the Wii U is uh, less powerful than the uh, PS4. You're all being jammed. Get an Xbox One. Oh, it, wait, never mind. The Xbox One is uh, underpowered and overpriced. But it's still better than the Wii U. Even though the Wii U is properly priced and underpowered. At least with the Wii U, you're going to get what you paid for. With the... Uh, and even with the PlayStation 4, because you're getting a pretty good, powerful machine. Not the most greatest powerful, but a pretty good, powerful machine. Basically, you're getting a uh, laptop with a pretty powerful graphics chip to it. And it's that logic that, that just infuriates me. Look, I'm happy where PlayStation 4 is. I was happy with the introduction. That's why I got... I. Got it day one, actually. Mainly because I had the money. And I'm actually happy with the console. Yeah, it doesn't have a very big library of games, but it's pretty good. And those morons who went out and bought Xbox Ones, and I'm going to call you morons because you were dumbasses, got a $100 fucking doorstop, an overpriced console, and yet... You moron! These were the same group of morons who complained about the fucking Wii U, that and the PlayStation people fanboys too, but mainly the Xbox fanboys. 
and not forgetting Mr. Blackball, and who's like, well, yeah, I agree with him on the PS4 and the Xbox One, but he keeps bashing the Wii U, and it's like, well, Black Bond, the Wii U is cheaper than the uh, Xbox One is. Significantly fucking cheaper. Way more cheaper than what the Xbox One costs. Xbox One costs about $100 more than the PS4. The uh, Kinect costs about 100 bucks, and the GPU is should be maybe less than maybe even one hundred dollars even less because you know it was found out a hundred and seventy five dollar uh, graphics card could beat it. I'm not joking. Digital Foundries found this out with uh, Titanfall. A one hundred and seventy five dollar fucking GPU can beat the uh, Xbox One's graphics capabilities. And at $100 more price than the PS4, there's no excuse. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I think the PlayStation 4, sh it should be at the number one spot. And it definitely is. I mean, it's got good specs. It's got good price. It, it, it's got a better than than more forgiving price. Uh, the Xbox One is overpriced and should be dead last. And the sales plummeting... That's good news because people are beginning, because moron bunch are beginning to find out that, you know, that maybe trying to save their fucking achievements or the friends list, because, you know, it crosses over from the 360, wasn't really such a great idea. And the Wii U, yeah, it's lesser, it uh, costs less, and it's cheaper, and it's not very powerful, but you're going to get what you paid for on that one. And you know what? The Wii U is a better deal than Xbox One is. And all these morons that are saying that Xbox One is more uh, better than Wii U, please quietly shut the fuck up. And go the fuck away. Because it's becoming more and more noticeable that the Xbox One is significantly way, way overpriced now. And it's a shitty console. Yes, they came up with an update and fixed a few of their, like, now you know how much hard drive you're taking up, which a lot of people are finding out that they're almost out of hard drive space because, you know, 500 gigs and, you know, apparently video games can swallow up a shitload of gigs on your hard drive. Ah, uh, shock of all shocks, huh? Now, I know the Wii U has lesser memory drives, but you can at least hook up an external hard drive to that thing day one when it came out microsoft still doesn't have anything you're stuck with that 500 gigs so you better get used to deleting uh apps and uh place sony put in a terabyte hard drive maybe even a two terabyte hard drive i don't know but basically day one nintendo and sony basically solved their hard drive problems with one fell swoop microsoft didn't and then you got the headset problem. Uh, basically, only one headset really works with the Xbox One. Most people are just using like their Turtle Beach or whatever headsets, and they can hear the sounds. But then they uh, end up using the Kinect speaker, I mean microphone, you know, for the ch chat itself. The only problem is then you got that Xbox troll guy calling Xbox off, uh, running around, and then as soon as people, you know, say Xbox off, get out of the way. You know, what happens. And of course, you'll probably have another troll saying, having his name, Xbox TV. Yeah. Which makes you connect the problem. So, you know, and since the voice commands are somehow attached to a portable device with no hard drive, and yeah, whatever. PlayStation 4 has its voice commands, but there's no voice command to turn it off or on. Sony at least thought that went ahead. But you idiots also bought it for the, uh, you know, Xbox for that stupid TV feature. What a waste of money. I mean, TV is go slowly dying. And everybody knows this. Because streaming is starting to take over television. That's why all the major networks have Hulu. And all this other shit. And soon Hulu will probably end up breaking out into different uh, sections. 
probably in the different channels. But, you know, they'll just use the Hulu engine. Or at least the Hulu video player. But yet, people still buy into this. I mean, I watched an hour-long video of this guy talking to Blackluster Critic saying that how, you know, how valuable the Xbox Live is. And uh, I get into this conversation, too, with real-life people. Uh, you know, how you have to pay more to get more from Hulu and, and Netflix and all this other shit, which doesn't make a lick of fucking sense. And that's the other thing that pisses me off is these, these people, and, and you literally do believe this. I've actually talked to people in, re, in real life, in both online, One, uh, the first person who brought this into light was Samuel the Tech Geek, and I hear it over and over and over again. Almost like it's a fucking broken record. Xbox Live, if it was to go away that by next morning, they literally, they said that the entire uh, online gaming experience would die. Uh, I'm not joking. They say that even... Eh, I mean, well, not they say, but... It is the most saddest thing I've ever heard them say. That it's like, well, if Xbox Live goes away, you ain't getting any more fucking multiplayer games. And all those streaming services will go away on your, uh, on your consoles. It won't be anymore. What? Are you fucking kidding me? And then trying to tell me that the somehow the PSN network and the Wii U online services all ride off of fucking Xbox Live services. I'm not joking. They've actually said that shit to me. And if you're laughing, I was ramming my head into a wall. And it's so much bullshit. Where you get more value for your buck. And they're making you pay for these extra services. You know, it's like going into a restaurant when you have to pay a dollar ninety-five, or even ten dollars for a glass of water. You're getting excellently with that water, while you know you can just get go to a fucking fountain and drink for free. This mindset needs to die. Xbox Live is not the center of multi. Uh, I mean, of online gaming, and it's not the center of fucking streaming internet services through. There is no fucking way that is humanly fucking possible. It's all based on how much bandwidth you can get pumped through your house. And even if you can get good internet through your game health. I'm on DSL. And, you know, I get the rubber banding effects and disconnecting. And I would have had the same experience if I got an Xbox One. There is nothing fucking special about Xbox One that somehow magically makes your internet twice as strong to what it can do and allows you to never disconnect from a multiplayer game or stream your videos in such clear crystal that it's almost like watching real life television sets. That is not fucking humanly possible. But I hear it every day. Yeah, well, with Xbox One, when I'm watching Netflix, the images are so real, it's like watching HD images. Um, Netflix is running off of, uh, and the truth about uh, Netflix is that it's using Microsoft Silverlight. And for Apple Macs, which use Silverlight PCs, Mac OS X, uh, I mean, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I meant Apple's iOS is, you know, I mean, uh, Android, DAR, and of course Windows Phones. Windows Phones uses Silverlight. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got all that wrong. This is going to be a long ass video. But anyways, for Windows Phones, Mac, Windows, and of course Xbox 360 and Xbox One, that's not a problem since they all use Silverlight. But for, say, uh, PS3 and the Wii, they have to convert it to Adobe Flash. And of course for the Androids as well, they have to convert to Adobe Flash. But then something happened. Uh, well, before it even came out on the Wii, because the Wii was practically the dead last one to get the uh, to get Netflix. But something bizarre happened. Anyways, um, 
it came out for iOS. And as you all know, iOS doesn't have Adobe Flash or Silverlight, Microsoft Silverlight. So what they ended up doing was they ended up converting it to what I guess is uh, HTML5. And just to let you know, the PlayStation 4 and the Wii U are both using HTML5, which is also what the Netflix use. They don't use Adobe Flash. And of course, you know, converting it to Adobe Flash was not that best. And and by the way, Android's going to be converted, probably going to be good. And I think they've already have converted theirs to HTML5. Uh, but anyways, seeing how both Hulu and Netflix are about ready to dump both Adobe and Flash, uh, Silverlight. By the way, Hulu uses uh, Adobe Flash, but they're probably going to dump theirs for uh, HTML5. I mean, YouTube already has done this. I mean, YouTube used to be, uh, you know, a mixture between Adobe, Flash, and Java. And now it's just mostly just HTML5. And I'm not going to go agree with a certain somebody out there from a long time ago in the Mac versus PC who got up and said that Adobe Flash was going to get rid of all those apps on webs. Yeah, that that was never going to happen. And this could be a problem for Microsoft, mainly because the 360 and the One, Xbox One, aren't really using HTML5. PS4 and the Wii U are, but not uh, the, either of the Xboxes. But yet, even after all of this evidence that comes out against Microsoft, and of course, the video streaming service is not looking all that great, people are still saying that Microsoft Xbox Live gives them some sort of premium deal that will just do everything for them. And as I said, over and over and over, there is nothing special about Xbox Live. Yeah, you'll get a couple of old games on their 360, but there are no uh, free games being offered on their Xbox One. Mainly due to the fact that it's got a shitty library right now. And my thing just told me it's 9 o'clock. But there's not that very many big amount of library games out. That's why Sony dumped their two games, two free games, to just one free game until they can get a bigger library. Probably for a month we're going to end up in a dry spell for Sony's PS4 where we'll have maybe several months without a game. Which is fine by me. And I think they should have done that when it rolled out. Mainly due to the fact that there's not that many free games out there. And as I said, it's bullshit. It is literally bullshit. There is nothing premium coming out of Xbox Live. Even with... Oh, you're paying for multiplayer, which you're now doing for uh, PlayStation 4, which I, I find bullshit on both consoles. But, at least with Sony, I can still get all the video services for free, and the free-to-play game are, yeah, the free-to-play games, so the MMOs, I don't need a P uh, PlayStation Plus a account. But then again, this is the magical world of, th of some fucking fairy dust being sprinkled over everybody laced with fucking cocaine, telling them that Xbox Live is the miracle service and will overcharge the living fuck out of you and you'll bend over and like it like good little boys and then tell us how fantastic we are even though it's a pile of bullshit. I mean, it's going to take a slap in the face for a ton of people to get up and realize that Microsoft is fucking you hard in the ass and what's sad is how you're letting them do this to you in such a horrifying god awful way their graphics card is a piece of shit their uh, connect is crap the thing is horribly overpriced. They're making you pay for extra services on live when they should be free. And it, it's just stacking. And it won't stop stacking. And yet, these Microsoft apologists just keep coming out and just saying, but Xbox Live is great. Or they're one excuses. So what if all this happens? It's got Xbox Live, and you can't do anything without Xbox Live. And if Xbox Live was to ever go away, all online gaming would die. It would all be dead. Does that make a fucking lick 
of sense to you people. I'm out of time, but it, it it's just surprising. See ya.